It is estimated that one in five women on college campuses have been sexually assaulted. Every 107 seconds, another American is sexually assaulted. That makes 293,000 victims of sexual assault each year. The majority of sexual assaults are not reported to the police. An average of 60% of assaults in the last five years were not reported. Each rape costs $151,423, and this costs the U.S. annually $127 billion, more than any other crime committed. Myth. Most sexual assault victims don't know their perpetrator. Four out of five assaults are committed by someone known to the victim. Myth. When women say no, they really mean yes. Truth. Yes is yes. No is no. Silence does not mean consent. Always ask for clarification. Myth. The victim asks for it by being drunk suggestive or careless. That is not true. People don't ask to be abused or humiliated in any way. We don't ask for it. Me. Sexual assault only happens to women. That is not true. Sexual assault happens to everyone and it can happen to anyone at any point on a college campus. Both male and female students are affected by sexual assault perpetrators. And you know what? You don't have to be a victim of sexual assault. There are so many ways that we can prevent this from happening to all of us here on campus. So there are three main ways to help victims of sexual assault if you notice someone in an uncomfortable situation. It's called bystander intervention. The first way is direct, and that's recognizing the situation is harmful or bad, and that's confronting the situation head on. Indirect is by distracting from the situation, such as going up to a man and woman who clearly seem to be in an uncomfortable position and suggesting that one leave to come talk with you. Um, the next way is by delegation, and that is having someone else come and help you deal with the situation, such as another person or the police. Here are some tips to prevent yourself from being a victim. Be aware of your surroundings, walk with confidence. The more confident you look, the stronger you appear. And always have a body system. Know your limits when it comes to alcohol, be assertive, and trust your instincts. If you or someone you know has been a victim of sexual assault, just know it's not your fault. There are plenty of resources to help you. You're not alone. Together, we can all put an end to sexual assault.